Pat Robertson had uh, a premonition or was spoken to by God about Trump and the election. Take a look. There's going to be a war. Ezekiel 38 is going to be uh, the next thing down the line. Then a time of peace. Then maybe the end. But nobody knows the day or the hour when the Lord's going to come back. He said the angels don't know it. And only the Father knows it. So I'm not saying this is the second coming, but I am saying there are things that people have thought <clears throat> would be during a millennial time with the coming of Jesus that are going to happen in our lifetime. And uh, the next thing is the election that's coming up in just a few weeks, at which time, according to what I believe the Lord told me, the president is going to be reelected. I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying by all means, get out and vote to, vote for whoever you want to vote for. But by all means, let your voice be heard. But it's going to lead to civil unrest of a great proportion. Then a war against Israel and so forth and so on. Hmm, where have I heard this before? It sounds somewhat familiar. But if he comes in, secondly, uh, he's going to have a second term. He's going to win. Romney, Romney will win the election. Do you believe that? I absolutely believe that. What makes you believe that? Because the Lord told me. <laughs> well, that's why I'm glad, to, I'm glad to know. I wasn't sure how you knew. <laughs> really, the Lord said that to you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I told Mitt a long time ago, I called him, I said, listen, I've, I've, I've been in prayer. I, I, number one, you're going to win the nomination. Number two, you're going to win the general election. He said, well, what can I do for you? I said, well, give me a seat on the platform. <laughs> During your inauguration, give me a ticket to your inauguration. <laughs> The best grift in the world, because there's zero accountability, and there will never be. Because the people who follow him, it, it, it's all about faith. So, empirically verify? Fact check? Match what he says up against reality? Don't be ridiculous! He said Romney was going to win, and God told him. Romney didn't win. Either God didn't tell you, or your God is wrong. And people, there are plenty of people who still watch him. Listen, I know he's not for our demographic, generally speaking, but there are people who still watch this guy. By the way, somehow he's been an old man since like 1976, and he's still kicking. He's still out there. They drag his carcass out there and prop him up in the chair and let him babble every night on the 700 Club. It's amazing. So Romney's going to win. God told him, oops, what happened? Are you worshiping the wrong God? There's thousands of gods of thousands of different religions. Maybe you got the wrong religion, dog. Maybe you got the wrong religion. Um, and then now, so now he says, oh, God told me Trump's going to win re-election. Joe Biden is probably sitting somewhere smiling, loving that Robertson saying this, because Robertson gives, like, anti-predictions. Whatever he says, the opposite happens as a general rule. But... He, he says, Trump's going to get reelected. God told me. And then there's some outlets, media outlets, reporting that Robertson goes on to say, not only that, oh, that's going to usher in end times, but also that it will be brought about by a meteor hitting. I love this. There's so many, like, I think John Hagee did this for a while. He did the whole, like, the four blood moons or whatever it's called. And then there's going to, like, the world's going to end when this happens. And we always, like, casually get past the date that they say the world is going to end. And they're all like, Did I say something? I didn't say nothing about it. I don't know what you're talking about when you say all that right there. Because I was saying that the sun was in my eyes and I didn't even see what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? What does that even mean right there? I'm sorry. I think what I'm saying is actually kind of true if you think what you're doing what I'm saying. They just, like, there's no accountability and nobody really calls them out. And then it's just like, yeah, but they just move on and move on right to the next thing. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. How? Grant me the confidence and the strength of a televangelist fundamentalist. Because these guys are the most brazen in the world. Yeah, God was talking to me and he said this and this. By the way, you they use this trick in their personal lives too. That's why a lot of these guys are incredibly sleazy. Because, they'll, you know, this is, this is what cult leaders do. They bring people in, they make them feel comfortable, make them feel like they belong, and it's like, hey, dog, listen, I'm not saying anything here, but God did tell me that your wife needs to get the pipe. No, it's not, it's not me, it's not me. I don't even want this to happen. It's God. God said the thing. God. 
What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, you can't besmirch God, right? I'm sure there'll be retribution if you do that. Call your wife. It's 2020, for Christ's sake. Like, it's the age of the internet. You can fact check anything at any point in time. And there are still people out there acting like nobody could look things up. <laughs> Is Romney president? I didn't see that. Did you see that? I didn't see that. God damn it, man. The confidence to just assert things that on some level he has to know that he's so full of shit, right? On some level he has to know. I'm just making up all this, suckers. By the way, I love how in the Romney clip, there's also the admission of like corruption and favoritism. God says you're going to win Mitt Romney, and Mitt's like, what do you need me to do for you? And he's like, put me on the platform. That's what he said before he cut himself off. Put me on the GOP platform thing. Yeah, get the, the lying, scamming, fundamentalist televangelist on the platform committee to write in stuff about how theocracy is awesome. Really healthy system we got going on here. 